Hey friends, it's Angie, your independent Sensi consultant, and I'm here with you today with Just Wax, no wine. Um, I've been a little bit MIA lately on the lives because Ava gave me her cold, which turned into bronchitis, and it has been a doozy of a week at our house. Um, I did go to urgent care yesterday, and I am on steroids and all the drugs, and that is really helping. So I am on the mend, and um, but there is only wax, no wine today, because, you know, drugs. Um, so yeah, I'm here, and I wanted to share with you guys what I've been warming. My basket has officially overflowed, so let me show you. So I've got all of these things, plus eight bars of wax that are down there. So it is definitely time to go through what I've been warming and recycle all of these goodies and get ready for the next batch. Um, let me make sure that my sounds are off. There we go. I don't want you hearing any vibrations. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the non-wax items first, as usual, because it is a little bit easier. Um, package of cotton cleanups, as per usual. Um, a scent soft in Amazon rain. A laundry liquid in Amazon rain. And a laundry liquid in windowsill breeze. Um, Amazon rain is the first one that I've ever had where I did not like it. I didn't like it and I couldn't wait to be done. I wanted the Amazon rain to be all gone. Um, it just, it just was not enough. I couldn't smell it on my clothes after they were dried. I could smell it while I was laundering them, but it just wasn't exciting. I just didn't love it. So I am really grateful to be done with Amazon rain. I will not be repurchasing that. Um, it just wasn't my jam. So sometimes it's like that. Uh, moving on, I have I am using Coral Waters, which is one of the new laundry scents for the spring and summer season, and I like that a lot better. I did get through an oil in gin, Rosemary Shortbread. This is so good, you guys. So one of the suggestions and tips I might have, the oils come with a little dropper inside, and sometimes the oils are thick and they don't drop out very quickly, even with the dropper, and so I actually removed the little dropper. Um, Right now, I am diffusing eucalyptus and peppermint together, and it is delightful. Um, you know, everybody's got some lung issues happening in our house right now, so that's that's where we're we are uh, in uh, diffusing. Okay, so I have a lot of bars. I did get through the uh, All Is Well wax collection, but I only have four of them here. So there were five bars in this collection. It releases on Monday. I have made samples. If you purchased from me in the last 90 days, you are automatically getting samples of all five of these. Um, if you have not ordered from me in the last 90 days, but you still would like some samples, just let me know. Drop me a little line. Let me know. If I have your address, I can send you one in the mail. If not, then you'll have to DM me your address and I will get it to you. These are just felt samples. So felt samples are little tiny pieces of felt that you can actually place in your warmer to get an idea of the scent warmed, or you can just like sniff it, hold it, you can warm it with your hand. The heat of your hand will warm the wax up enough for you to smell it, um, just to get an idea of what these scents are like so that you can try before you buy. Um, the five pack is $25, which is $5 a bar. That actually is a really good deal because these bars are typically $6 each or you get six for 30. Um, so you can bundle and save. I don't know that you can do that with these collections. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, but five for 25 is a real good deal. Um, anyway, so this is four of the five. Uh, vitamin R for relax, I used half of that bar in my outside warmer. Yes, I have a warmer outside. Yes, I know that is crazy. We have a Florida room, like kind of sun porch area, and I have that warmer that looks like a lantern out there, and uh, and it is lovely, and I, I adore it, and I like to keep waxing it. So I put half of the bar of vitamin R in there. 
But when I change my wax upstairs, it takes four bars. So I did my four bars from the All Is Well collection one day. And so let me tell you what these scent notes are. So this one is vitamin S for Soothe. And I put it in my bedroom. And it is driftwood softened by gentle water lily and soothing sea minerals. Okay, so you can tell from the condition of this clam that Rowan chewed on the outside of it. So this is what it looks like when Rowan chews my clams. She gets little chunks of wax stuck in there. That is not typical of our wax bars, and that doesn't usually happen, but it does when Rowan is around. So vitamin S for Soothe. It is really spa-like. It is really, um, if you like Atlantic Air, Shoreline Drive, you will like Vitamin S for Soothe. It is so good. I really like these Fresh Clean scents, so I actually really liked this collection. Um, so yeah, Vitamin S for Soothe, wonderful. Vitamin M is for Meditate. I put Meditate in our entranceway. Um, vitamin M is sandalwood, balances calming lavender, and spicy nutmeg. I was kind of wondering if I was going to smell the nutmeg more when it was warming, and I did not. Um, I definitely get the, the lavender and the sandalwood, um, and it is very balanced. It is very calming. These scents are all really fresh, very clean. They make your house feel clean, um, and when everybody's sick, that's kind of what you want. It's like, everything to kind of smell clean loved that vitamin U for unwind uh, I put this in my kitchen this one smells yummy to me I kind of want to eat it even though there's nothing really edible in there well I guess there is and a sweet apple blossom and crisp cucumber peel drift above sp serene spa water and something about this smelled delicious and it's not cucumber peel because I don't really like eating cucumber peels I actually compost our cucumber peels so that's not I think it's the apple blossom, but also I don't eat the blossoms on an apple tree, so I don't know, but it smells sweet, it smells good, it smells clean, um, and I like it. It's amazing. Vitamin I for inhale. Okay. This is the one that smells like Irish Spring soap to me, or like zest. I put this in our family room. Fresh mountain air carries notes of wildflowers and fern to p peaceful vistas. So this lived in my family room for like three or four days. And when I was removing it from the warmers, I could still smell it, but I was just done. It wasn't throwing anymore. It wasn't like filling up the room or filling up this space, but I could still smell it on my cotton cleanup. So this is a pretty good, um, long lasting scent. Vitamin I for inhale. Okay. Um, so I'll go through kind of what's on top first I guess I don't know so these two guys I warmed in my basement these are in my Scentsy Club they are a um, bar that is no longer available it is from the Find Your Happy collection which I loved the kind of idea behind this this was like a really great well thought out collection um, and this was my favorite scent in it so I put this in my basement, and when I use a strong scent like this in my basement, it actually comes through the ventilation system and I can smell it upstairs, which is kind of awesome. So this one says, sit back and relax with iced tea, lemon, sparkling sugar, and a moment to take it all in. Um, these tea scents remind me of my Sarah. Anybody that knew Sarah knew that she was probably going to have a giant Chick-fil-A sweet tea with her wherever she went. Um, she loved, loved, loved sweet tea. She loved McAllister's Deli sweet tea, and she loved Chick-fil-A sweet tea, and then a pinch McDonald's sweet tea would sort of do it, but she never really fully believed that anybody above the Mason-Dixon line made real good sweet tea. Um, she really became a fan of sweet tea in Mississippi, and it reminded her of home, and so Taste of Summer reminds me of her. She didn't really like lemon in her sweet tea. She just wanted the tea and the sugar, but that's what we got all right sunburst bamboo I think there's a couple of these in here this is the current scent of the month there's two yes this is the current scent of the month for February that's what month it is right gosh I don't even know okay February okay current scent of the month 
both times I warm this in my family room. This feels like a family room scent to me. I think because it's like crisp and clean. Um, lush sunburst bamboo and crisp cucumber under a sheer canopy of peony offered a tranquil escape. So maybe I'm like trying to escape to the spa or something lately because all of my scents have been really um, like that. That's been a theme for me in the last, I don't know how many weeks this is, but sunburst bamboo, the scent of the month. Um, I did go through two bars, two separate times, and they are delightful. It's, it isn't very strong. It doesn't throw that well. It's kind of just like a peaceful, calming scent, um, and it kind of stays right with the warmer. So if you're looking for something that's not super strong, it's a good one. Um, watermelon patch. I warmed it in my kitchen. Sometimes you want your kitchen to smell like watermelons, and this one is candied. So it's sweet, vine-ripened watermelon is what Sensi says it smells like. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher to me. <coughs> Sorry. I am feeling much better, I promise. This is a huge improvement from where I was. Um, we're working on it. Coconuts for coconuts. This is a new release. It is to the spring and summer 2022 catalog. It smells like sunscreen in the in the... Um, clamshell. I warm this in my entranceway. An ocean breeze, breeze weaves along. For some reason, breeze, saying the word breeze and then weaves. That's not, that doesn't work for my mouth. An ocean breeze weaves along a coastline, lush with wild coconut and tiara flower. Um, so yes, I warm this in the entranceway, which is where Christie's office is. And Rowan has like a little play space there. And it's like right as you walk in the front door. And this was a really good space scent for that space because it's kind of strong and it lasted a long time and it like threw really well so it kind of filled the space um I was actually really surprised by how well this one performed so this is coconuts for coconuts if you do not like coconuts scents you will not like this this is not for people who don't like coconut this is very kind of sunscreen you know would be really good for a beach house or you know a trip to the beach or because you want to think about the beach because it's February and why is February so long when it's only 28 days and we're so ready for spring like come on especially now like since now we've all been sick it's like okay spring needs to come on and this scent makes me wish for summer like this is summery and wonderful so I don't know that I'm gonna warm any more of this before like June but I really 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 like it and again that's a new one um, so let's let's go with new ones. All right, we've got Daydream Oasis. Lose yourself in sweet melon and visions of luminous pear leaf and water lily. This one is green, fresh, clean. It's got that water lily. I don't usually like Scentsy's pear, but this is pear leaf. I don't know what a pear leaf smells like, but um, th it, this has a lot of water lily. It doesn't have as much melon. I can kind of get the melon, but it's in there. These are all very well, this is very well blended. Um, it's just very spa-like, it's very serene. Look at the pictures on there, look at the little island. Look how cute that is with the little palm trees on it. Can you see how adorable that is? Love it. So this is one of the new releases for spring and summer. This one, I put it in my family room and my mother-in-law came over and she was like, what is this smell? It smells so good and it was Daydream Oasis. <coughs> okay, so doing another new release. We have White Amber Antique. Alluring Amber Antique Flirt with Fresh Bergamot. I put this in my bedroom. It smells so crisp and clean and it smells like mahogany teak wood and it is so good. It is so nice. I love these scents in my bedroom. They smell like clean man and good. This is a good one. Um, it might be one of my new favorites. So, white amber antique in the bedroom. <coughs> Alright, I think this is the last of my new releases I've gotten through, maybe. Yeah. This is the last of the new releases. This is Paradise Petals. This one also went in my bedroom. Neroli and Orange Zest beckon from a utopia of white blooms. Okay, so this one does have floral and it has that orange zest. So I really like the mixture of fruity and floral. Um, <coughs> sorry. I know that 
florals sometimes can be off-putting or headache inducing this one because it says white blooms I feel like when it calls something white um, it means lighter like it's not they're not like pungent um, they are they aren't powdery either I feel like the orange zest helps keep it from being powdery which is great because that's not great this is a little bit perfumey it's definitely perfumey it's perfumey floral versus powdery floral I apologize for being on here sick um, <laughs> it is a perfumey floral and it's really 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 nice so this is paradise petals and the last of my new release warming for this this period whatever time this is I don't know okay Oh boy, there's still so much to go through. All right, so this is Sun Ripened Berry. This was the scent of the month for January. And I warmed it in the entranceway where Christie's desk is. A refreshing scoop of orange sorbet sprinkled with sun ripened raspberries and strawberry sugar. The scent is good. It's not strong or long lasting. It is fruity, it is delightful. Um, performance is okay appealing apple I love this one you guys this was the scent of the month from June 2021 the sugary sweetness of juicy apple and lively pear are even more tempting with a touch of flowering sweet pea again this was an entranceway scent for us this one is interesting because I don't like scentsy pear I don't um, there have been multiple times where scentsy pear has gotten me <coughs> excuse me but this is apple and sweet pea to me. I like fruity florals. I feel like the sweet pea balances it and it's just right. So this is a peeling apple. <coughs> Pineapple mint. This is the only one that I have from the Life's a Garden collection. I warmed it in my family room. <coughs> the scent notes are juicy pineapple, fresh orange, and refreshing spearmint. Offer a crisp twist on tropical. I love these. I love this scent. <coughs> this is the only one from this collection that I felt smelled authentic. Everything else was kind of rough. Um, not rough, but I didn't love it. This is my favorite. So chamomile daisy to me smelled good, but it smelled like taste of summer. It smelled like lemon and tea. Um, strawberry basil smelled like kind of like not good I didn't like strawberry basil to me this was the clear winner and then there was like lavender violet or something and that was pretty basic like I felt like lilacs and violet smelled very similar so this was my favorite pineapple mint it smells very very authentic I feel like that sweet spearmint um it kind of smells like it's been muddled into like pineapple juice or like fresh pineapple like so good perfect gentlemen this was a bedroom scent for us this was a father's day 2021 scent and it's a charis charismatic blend of white amber and oak moss with a sleek finish of fresh marine water it smells like cologne they all like the cologne scents all kind of just smell like cologne to me i finished up a bar of cars in rowan's room this is Cars Radiator Springs. Look how cute the artwork is on the Disney bars. They're so cute. Energized Lemon gets off to a fast start. Pink Grapefruit and Red Cherry set the pace. And Sweet Sugar takes the checkered flag. So they're saying lemon, grapefruit, cherry, and sugar, right? So you can imagine what lemon, grapefruit, cherry, and sugar smells like. It's delightful. It's delicious. It's sweet. It's candy-like. Um... It's similar to like <clears throat> cherry limeade a little bit, except that instead of lime, it's lemon and pink grapefruit. So it's really, really yummy. I love the car scent. Another Disney scent that I love, I warmed two bars in my basement of Monsters, Inc. Monstropolis. Um, this is in my monthly club, and so I get 12 bars a year of Monsters, Inc. Monstropolis which means that it kind of builds up because I don't go through 12 bars a year. So I have to every now and then take two bars and warm them in my basement or warm them somewhere in my house. So here's what Sensi says 
Monsters, Inc. Monstropolis smells like. A monster dose of mandarin, watermelon, pineapple, and lush palms await in a world like no other. So that is what is warming in my basement. Ugh. Sorry. Blueberry cheesecake is in my kitchen right now. Thick, rich New York cheesecake with a light graham cracker crust and delicious blueberries. You guys... Blueberry cheesecake is delicious. Look at the picture, too. It's got little forks and spoons. It's so cute. I don't know if anybody else likes the pictures on the, the artwork on the bars or as much as I do, but I really do. Oops, here's another sun ripened berry. This one I warmed in my kitchen. It's got cute little strawberries and stuff on there. Aloe water and cucumber. This is a classic scent. Um, I feel like since he's had aloe water and cucumber forever. Aloe water, cucumber peel, front palm frond, and pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. I warm this in my entranceway. I like this. This is like, this is like the perfect scent to have around if you are not sure what people like and you're afraid, you know, you don't want to like offend somebody. Like you don't want to pull out the fresh cut daisies for company. Like this is, this is like kind of an easy go-to because I feel like most people are not going to be offended by aloe water and cucumber. Um, had to do a bar of love story in the bedroom. Dun, 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 dun. Look at the lips. The lips are my favorite part of the artwork on this. Like the flowers. It's so cute. Okay, so this is in the bedroom. Innocent pink jasmine. Pink, innocent pink jasmine, yes, and sensual amber are embraced by luscious dark chocolate. I don't smell chocolate. I smell jasmine and amber. It's <clears throat> floral and good, and it's yum. Um, this is a entrance scent for me, red pear and pomegranate. <coughs> this was the scent of the month in February of 2021. Sweet tart notes of pomegranate and rhubarb are polished by crisp, energizing red pear. It's so good, you guys. Um, so it is a tart pomegranate and pear. I don't normally like pear, but this one's good. And this is so nice because it is a good transitional scent. I feel like this kind of scent kind of carries you through like the winter into the spring. It's got the fruity notes that make you feel energized and ready for, you know, whatever the spring may bring us. But it also still has that pomegranate, which reminds you of like winter. So I feel like this is a really good transitional scent. Um, mulberry bush, Sarah's favorite. It's in my club. You will see this one all the time. Rowan chewed the clam. So I mean, you can even see like her little teeth marks. If you look like some of these, I think she thinks smell like food. And so she like gnaws on the container. So, um, I warm this in my family room. I kind of always warm it in my family room, although I probably will do it in the basement sometimes just because now I'm going to have a million bars. Sweet mulberry accented with bittersweet orange peels. Um, so that's mulberry bush. Sarah's favorite. We will always have it in our club. I get emotional when it's warming because it does remind me of her. There were so many times that her room smelled just like that. So, all right, we're down to the last two bars. Caramel pear crisp. I feel like this one went in my kitchen. Perfectly ripe pear and juicy nectarine blanketed in a brown sugar crust and topped with a dollop of warm caramel cream. <clears throat> this is the kind of scentsy pear that I do not like. This is the pear. That's yuck. So this was in the <clears throat> club exclusive Bring Back My Bars. Sorry, that one choked me up a little. Um, this was in the club exclusive Bring Back My Bars for the month of January. I wanted to warm it. Um, I did not love it. I still do not love it. I'm happy that it is gone. I will not be ordering again. Um, this is a bring back my bar that I love. This was strawberry swirl. So I warmed this in my kitchen. This is in my club. So on cold, these milky scents, there's a lot of debate about the milky scents. So you've got like uh, cookies for Santa has milk in it. Blueberry cheesecake has milk or like the cream cheese. Um, and then there was like cinnamon buttercream in the fall and winter catalog. Yum. And strawberry swirl. So on cold, I don't love the milk notes. Um, I think they smell like sour milk. And people smell these and they're like a little bit put off at first sometimes. But strawberry swirl, y'all. 
Okay, so I warms blueberry cheesecake, which does have that cream cheese note in it, and it smells, in the clam, it smells tangy, like you can smell that cream cheese. And in this, this one also has that milky, tangy note in the clam. Obviously, Rowan didn't chew this one. Let me tell you what Sunsy says. This was July 2016, scent of the month, and it was a bring back my bar. So people like it because it keeps getting voted back. Blissfully sweet and creamy. Strawberry swirl whips together frozen strawberry, frothy milk, and vanilla. Okay, so the strawberry note in this. A lot of times strawberry notes come across like candy. Like Jolly Rancher or Starburst or um, Skittles. Like it smells like candy. Like super sugary sweet. Not authentic. Like not like you're eating a strawberry. On cold, to me, to my nose, this smells like strawberry yogurt. Like you've just opened a can container of strawberry yogurt. Like you peeled the foil back and you've stirred the strawberries up from the bottom, right? It smells like that. It's got that yogurty, creamy smell to it. When this warms to my nose, it just smells like straight strawberries. It doesn't, I don't get as much of that creamy scent. I think maybe that goes off first. So a lot of times when you warm things, they have the top notes, the mid notes, and the base notes. And I feel like that cream is a top note. So it burns off first. I think the strawberry is the mid note, and I think the vanilla is the base. So you're going to go through those top notes. So when you're warming at the onset, you're going to get a little bit of that creaminess. But then that strawberry and vanilla is what's going to finish you out. And it smells authentic. It smells like real strawberries. It doesn't smell like that fake candied strawberries. It smells real. It's so good. I love this one. It's in my club. You'll see me warm it a lot. I love it. So if you're new here and you don't know what I'm talking about <coughs> when I say club, Scentsy Club is our subscription service, but it's not like a surprise what you get in your Scentsy Club because you actually choose what you want, how often you want it, and you can change it. You can skip a month. You can get it every one, two, or three months. It's really everything you like about Scentsy in your terms, on your terms, on your way. You get what you want, when you want it, how you want it. Um, it's for all consumable products. And then now they've got a new special that for every um, Scentsy Club, you set, like every dollar you spend in Scentsy Club, you get a point to take half off. You can add up towards half off products, um, things that you could only get with a party. So you're actually going to be earning points. Um, through your, your Scentsy Club. So Scentsy Club is awesome. There's a lot of perks and it is amazing. At $30 in your Scentsy Club, you get 10% off. So you could put a whiff box in your Scentsy Club and you're going to get 10% off that whiff box. So you're already saving money with that one $30 item. And then if you add something else, then of course you get 10% off of everything. So anyway, $30, 10% off. At $60, you get a half-price item. You could use that half-price item towards that whiff box if you want. So now your $30 whiff box is now $15. A whiff box is a surprise every month. Um, I haven't gotten mine yet, but I have seen what's in it, and I'm really excited. But anyway, um, I get my whiff box, whiff, whiff box through my Scentsy Club at half price. So I will get a half-price whiff box. I think it's coming tomorrow, but I'm not sure. That actually might be my scent warmer of the month kit, which I'm also really excited about. Um, but yeah, Scentsy Club is amazing because when you see me with Bring Back My Bars, for example, Bring Back My Bars are only back for one month. Uh, one month in January and one month in June, we have different Bring Back My Bars that we vote for. Um, and while they're back, you have the opportunity to put them in your Scentsy Club. And once they're in your Scentsy Club, Sensi offers always get my bar. So they will continue to make those bars for you forever as long as you keep it in your Sensi Club. Um, the only caveat is that you can't delete them from your Sensi Club. You cannot increase the number. You can decrease the number. So if you got your Bring Back My Bar order and you love to scent and you put four bars in your monthly Sensi Club order <coughs> and then realize that you didn't need four bars a month, you could bring that down. You could say, you know what, I only need two bars a month. And you can you know, drop your number down and edit your Sensi Club. You can edit it at any time. You can make any changes you want. It can be a thing where, you know, you 
don't always have light bulbs in your Sensi Club, but you run out of light, your light bulb burns out. So you add a light bulb to your Sensi Club. They'll send it to you. You get it 10% off and boom, you're done. Easy peasy. And then the next month, you know, after they've sent you your light bulb, you're like, oh, I don't need light bulbs anymore. You go in, you edit your Sensi Club, you remove the light bulb. No problem. It's not like you're not going to get penalized. It's no, you can always edit. You can cancel at any time. There's no fee for joining. It's easy peasy. You literally just log into your account and you go to Sensi Club and you just edit, 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 and you make all the changes you want. And, um, that's it. So anyway, that's Sensi Club. I love it. It is one of the best services Sensi offers in my opinion. You can also skip a month. So if you um, you know, say you get COVID, for example, and you lose your sense of smell and you don't warm any wax for a month or two and you're like, please don't send me any more wax. I have not been changing my wax. I can't smell anything, whatever. Or you go on vacation for three weeks. And so now your wax is, you know, you got your month subscription and you're like, oh my gosh, I've been gone for three weeks and I've got all this wax. You can, you can skip a month and you don't lose your, your sense of So it's a really cool service. You should definitely ask me uh, questions if you have any questions about that. I'm happy to chat with you about Sensi Club and the benefits and the perks and why you should do it because it's amazing. Um, and that's it for today. If you need anything, let me know. Um, I am <laughs> under the weather, but I promise I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you are interested in Harry Potter and did not pre-order, I may have a couple extras here. Um, so if you are local to me and you would like a Harry Potter, I have the Warmer and Wax bundle. Um, I have three of them that are up for grabs, so let me know. And I have a couple more in my um, in my pre-orders. So if you need to get your hands on that, I am here for you. I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you all are having a fantastic Friday. We are going to drink hot tea and watch TV and hang out tonight. Um, it might be a soup and sandwiches kind of night. Our sweet friend Kristen sent us pizza last night and is a lifesaver and a joy. Um, love you guys dearly. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.